a boy he always knew a sailor he would be so he studied the law of the sea captain of his crew a brave ambitious man determined to explore he discovered a new land the sun and sky and his heart would be his guide a man of valor and pride the king and queen their blessings he obtained to carry the flag of spain through tempest and rain a strong courageous man determined to explore he discovered a new land the sails raised high he searched the great unknown his quest for adventure dispelling any fear a sure courageous man columbus it was he who sailed to new horizons across the great blue Really, Christopher? When the ship's in her home port, her crew can have a bit of a break. And after this last trip, we need one. <laughs> Where'd you go? What did you see? We sailed to a group of islands called the Canaries. We were out of sight of land for more than a week. That's far. What's it like? We saw a volcano erupt. And there's forests and waterfalls. Right. And birds. The most beautiful birds I've ever seen. Oh, wow. <gasps> what color were they? Uh, blue and red, purple and yellow. As yellow as a field of daffodils. I wish I'd have been there. Well, what else do you see? Nothing. Trees and birds, fields and a village, a few small islands on the edge of nowhere. Do you know what lands lie beyond the Canary Islands? Don't be silly. The Canary Islands is as far as anyone's ever sailed, and that's far enough, believe me. Why stop there? The sea keeps on going, doesn't it? So why not keep on sailing? There'd be no point. There's nothing but sea. No matter how far you go, the ocean sea is endless. No, it has to end somewhere. We all know that the Earth is round, so if you sail far enough, you'll find land. How far is far enough? And where would you be when you got there? <laughs> Someday I shall go and find out. <laughs> <laughs> huh? What? Who does this landlubber think he is? Go and find out. <laughs> you have a lot to learn, Christopher. <laughs> How about teaching me? Maybe tomorrow. Run along home now. Okay. Wow. Huh? Hi. Um, are you one of the sailors? You don't know anything about the sea, but you sure talk big, don't you? Christopher! Christopher! <gasps> Dad! What are you doing? Come here and give me a hand with this. Rats, coming! Thank you, Domenico. What do you have to say for yourself? I delivered.
delivered the fabric to the merchants. Yes, but you stopped off at the harbor on the way back. Not another argument, Domenico. He apologized. What more do you want from the boy? I expect my eldest son to be obedient. Instead, I've spawned an idle scamp who thinks of nothing but to see. Hey. Listen to me, Christopher. You're the son of a master craftsman. You're going to be a hmm. weaver whether you like it or not. Christopher! Christopher! Come on! We'll be late for school! <gasps> school! Just another excuse for avoiding work! Today we'll be learning about textiles like linen and wool. And very useful that'll be. Ah. Uh. Get a move on, then, and pay attention. Mm-hmm. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. See you later. Where did he learn to be so pig-headed? From you, dear. <laughs> Thanks, Bartholomew. You were great. <laughs> Wait up! Christopher, where are you going? Where do you think? I'm going back to the harbor. You're not really going to school, are you? Of course! Do you want to spend your whole life cooped up indoors weaving wool on a loom? I figured I had to. What are you going to do? Go to sea! Hey, Christopher! It's Giovanni's ship! Come on, Bartholomew! It's Giovanni's ship! No, Christopher! That'll skin us alive! Bonus. The holds are bursting with goods from all over the Eastern Mediterranean. And you say I don't deserve a bonus? If you'd ever sailed further to Sardinia, you'd know that there's more to sailing than making do with a cold supper. I bargain. Bargain like a fish wife. You'll see a bigger profit well, than you did on those last studded Moroccan horse collars. You're a this thief is and great. a liar. I wasn't expecting you till mouth. tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> the sooner we get home with our cargo, the more money we stand to make. We had a fair wind in our favor. Come on board. Thanks. What did you bring back this time? We brought pearls, hundreds of them, and silk and spices. The market on Kiosk has more stuff than you could ever imagine. Those spices smell absolutely <laughs> wonderful. They're from Asia, right? That's right, lad. From India and China. The island of Kiosk is called the Gateway to the East. Why do you go to Kios? If what you want is in the east, why not go directly there? Huh? <laughs> directly! Whatever gave you that idea? In the first place, it's much too far. You have to cross deserts and mountains. And I hear they don't let foreigners through. But Giovanni, what if you went by sea? You could sail all the way there and never meet anyone who will try to stop you. But no one knows the way. Then someone will have to find it. You think they will? Mm-hmm. Christopher! Is that your brother? Mm-hmm. I want no! <laughs> Hang on! Help! 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 Christopher! Good. Scold me again. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Christopher, do you really want to be a sailor? You bet. We could use an extra deckhand, so if you feel you're ready. I'm ready. But Christopher, stay out of this, Bartholomew. Can you get your parents' permission? I can, don't worry. Right then. If you have your parents' blessing, you can come. We sail on the tide in two days. I'll be here. Or get it! But 
I want to be a sailor. After all, Genoa was a port city. Some of the best sea captains and navigators in the world come from here. I've heard you say they're the pride of Genoa. I'm going to be one of the... We are not a seafaring family. It doesn't matter. Giovanni has offered me a place on a ship and you won't have to pay for my training. <laughs> and there are lots of other boys my age who go to sea. Columbus is a name to be proud of. You'll learn to be the finest weaver in Genoa. No way! What was that? <laughs> Maybe we might let Christopher tell us what he has planned. Because even if he's decided not to become a weaver like his father, it doesn't mean he'll disgrace the family name. That's the sort of talk that gives the boy ideas. I should have thought you'd want your sons to be respectable craftsmen like their father. Once and for all, I forbid you to go to sea. Should you disobey me, you may no longer call yourself Columbus. <sighs> right, trouble, I may be late. It's okay. And this is a good way to build up my strength. Is that so you can be a sailor? Never you mind. I just asked. You don't have to snap at me. Well, well. Mr. Know-it-all is nothing more than the son of a weaver. Do you sail today? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This trip we go to the Aegean Sea. Say, hadn't you better run along? <gasps> <laughs> Christopher, what? Who's that? Leave me in peace. Should you disobey me, you may no longer call yourself Columbus. <laughs> deliver that fabric. Yes, but what happened to you? Your father's politics are no good for his health. <laughs> Tough luck, Domenico. It looks as if our beloved Fragosa party is done for. It's not safe for us here anymore. Come, Octavio. We mustn't give up. There's no hope. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Good luck. <gasps> oh. <clears throat> It was the Adorno party that did this to you, right? Leave that! Give me that back! I'm going to defend our honor! No, but I can't stay here and do nothing! Do you mean what you say, son? Christopher, no! Of course I mean it, Dad. I want to defend the family name. Domenico? Let it be now. What's that supposed to mean? Let's let the fighting come to an end. The Fragoso party is through. I'm going to have to learn to accept that. But I believe the world would be a better place if we won. <laughs> Not fair! 
Look lively, men. The wind is fair and we must catch the tide. I guess the lad won't make it. That's not how you load the cart. <laughs> On a steep hill, this load would tumble right off. I'll fix it. I know how. I, I just forgot. <laughs> Catch. <laughs> you know, your mother says you're just like me. She says we're two peas in a pod. That's what got me out of my sickbed. Huh? If I were you, I'd have been long gone. Really? Once I'd made up my mind, no one, not even my parents, could stop me. I'm as stubborn as a mule. Right, Dad. I can go! <laughs> thank you, Daddy, thank you. I still don't approve of this. <laughs> but I know you'll go whether I like it or not. You're my son. You're just a chip off the old block. <laughs> You'd better hurry up. The ship won't wait. Thank you, Dad. Christopher? Mother of God, please look after Mother and Father and Bartholomew while I'm away at sea. Amen. I won't forget my prayers. Wish me luck. Time. Christopher. I'm glad you could join us. You're just the kind of hard-working lad we need. Hey, Christopher! Christopher! <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Christopher! Bye. You're a good boy! Do what your Benny says! 
I will! I love you! I'll be good, and Dad, thanks for giving permission! Goodbye, Good luck, Christopher! Here, Christopher, I want you to have this. That's your knife. I can't accept your own special knife. You're a sailor and a fine one, and a sailor needs a knife. This was given to me when I was young, and now I in turn offer it to you. It has quite a history, huh? Yes. Gee. I'll treasure it for the rest of my life. Go ahead.